is Good Morning Colorado, where Southern Colorado gets its first word on the world at home. Welcome back. It was just a few months ago that you first saw him here on Good Morning Colorado. And we welcome back Dr. Stephen Cosey this morning. Uh, last time you were here, uh, you were giving away a few copies of this book, uh, Hormones, Health, and Happiness. And we were talking about women's hormones and that sort of thing. And the phones would not stop ringing with people wanting to know more about this book. So we brought him back. And this time we're asking about male hormones. So welcome back. It's a pleasure to see you once again. Zach, glad to be back in hey, Colorado Springs. This is the last stop on your book tour, huh? This is a, this is a last stop. Well, we thank you so much for this. Glad to be here. Stop. I'm staying here at the Broadmoor this weekend with, with her leadership team. So what a lovely complex that is. Oh, well, you know, it's one of the best in the world. The best in the world. You know, we're talking about male hormones, and, and there's this notion of male menopause. Is it real? It's called andropause. Uh, Males make their primary, our primary hormone is testosterone. Right. And there's probably not a woman listening this morning that thinks the man in her life has too little testosterone. But as a matter of fact, male testosterone declines. By the time we're 40 years of age, our hormone levels go to about half of what they were when we were in our 20s. Mm -hmm. By the time we're 50, it's a third. By the time we're 60, it's a fourth. Some people might, some women might say, well, that's great. But it has an adverse effect on the health of men. Our testosterone affects our initiative, our assertiveness, mm -hmm. our sense of well-being, our self-confidence our moods, our goal orientation, our drive, our directiveness, decisiveness, analytical ability, and abstract thinking. Those are all mental functions. also affects muscle tone, cardiovascular function, romantic moods and inclinations, and abilities. And as men age, things begin to decline in one way that you can uh, address that is by replenishing your declining hormone levels using natural, biologically identical testosterone. Hmm. The, the, the symptoms, we're so familiar with uh, the female symptoms of menopause, the hot flashes, that sort of thing. What are the male symptoms? Well, as, well, uh, as I mentioned, a decline of oh. overall energy, a decline okay. of mental capacity, mental function, mental focus. Depressed moods can be a problem. And of course, romantic moods and inclinations, just loss of desires, loss of libido is a big problem. So what can be done? Well, you replenish it. Uh, and I recommend it to host health and wellness centers, our center in Houston, we use several types of testosterone. We find the most uh, effective is injectable testosterone on a weekly basis. Mm. That co coupled with the thyroid, thyroid problems also affect men as well, a decline in their natural thyroid level, and the thyroid affects fatigue and, and your overall energy production. It also, per it also affects your mental function. It affects uh, your ability to lose weight, yeah. uh, joint muscle aches and pains and sleep. So thyroid in combination with testosterone for men in midlife, big, big help. Male menopause, andropause. Okay, we want to move on to uh, something else that we're all being affected by right now and we'll soon will be if we're not already. Allergies, spring allergies. Uh, big problem. I'm, I'm from Houston. Right. The pollen's already out. It's a big problem. Allergies and abnormal reactions to normal occurring substances in the environment, things you breathe. In the spring, it's, it's uh, tree pollen. Fall, it's uh, the ragweed or the weed pollens. You got grass pollens late spring. You got molds, dust mite, mold spore year round. And all these things can cause us to develop upper respiratory problems, sinus infections, bronchitis, even asthma. And that can be treated safely and effectively by seeing an ear, nose, and throat allergist. And uh, we use sublingual drops under the tongue rather than injections, hmm. which is very nice. Yeah. Well, Dr. Hotze's uh, book is extremely popular. And last time we had him on, like we said, the phones were absolutely ringing off the hook. And we do have a couple copies. Uh, to give away the book again, Hormones, Health, and Happiness. And I believe we're giving away, uh, you have two copies to give two away? Co well, I tell you, we have five five copies. We'll get you five copies. You tell the callers to call, we'll send them the copies. All right. Well, hey, with five copies, the number to dial 632-1313. And uh, we wish you good luck in uh, calling and getting those books. Once again, thanks so much. Thanks for so much, in. Jack. It's a pleasure to be with you, as always. And we'll see you next time you okay. come to town. Thank you, sir.